Next up, at UFC 284, we have Loma Lukbunmi taking on Elise Reed. Loma Lukbunmi is 7-3 overall, 3-2 in her last five. Coming off that solid win over Denise Gomes, Elise Reed is 3-2 in her last five, 6-2 overall, and she has alternating wins and losses. To me, this is a pretty straightforward breakdown. Loma Lukbunmi, this line hasn't moved an inch since it opened. Loma Lukbunmi could be a minus champ, 400... Champ. A minus 400 favorite, and I would not do my typical, eh, this fight's closer than the odds. This is legit. Like, Loma Lagunmi should dominate in this spot. She's a she's small for the division for sure, but she does have, I, I don't want to say power because she's not putting anybody out, but she's a very good Muay Thai fighter. Literally had a very solid Muay Thai career before transitioning to MMA, and she has incredible takedowns, incredible takedowns. She is bodying people. She beat Denise Gomes with four takedowns. Sam Hughes with four takedowns in those fights. And she's a very talented Muay Thai fighter. Elise Reed is active. She does have some power as well. She's active. She's busy. She comes forward. But she got dismantled by Sam Hughes. And she can get pushed around. She can get out technique. She just works hard, has constant energy. So I think Loma Lukbunmi will be the much better striker. She's going to have the fantastic takedowns. Her takedown defense is 75%. And her only two losses in the UFC, she's 3-2 and two in her last five. She lost to Angela Hill, who's like a foot taller than her and a legitimate veteran at this point. And she lost to Loopy, who's massive and just was able to bully her a bit. I think this is a great spot for Loma Lukbunmi. I know a lot of people hate betting on women's MMA, but... I think your money's pretty safe with Loma. What do you think? Yeah, I, I, and I'm—I am biased. I, I will admit that right now. I, I am a big, big fan of Loma. I think she is one of—I think honestly, she's one of the most, um, you know, let, let, least talked about, but most dangerous females in the 115 division. Because Ange, as Angel mentioned, her striking—she's going to be the the better striker in, in probably like. 75%, 80% of these matchups. And now she has worked hard enough to get to, as Angel mentioned, the, the the wrestling and the grappling and the judo and everything that comes with it because she gets close with that Muay Thai. She gets me that Muay Thai. And then it's like, is she going to just start kneeing you? Is she going to take you down? Is she going to throw you? And when she gets on top, she is nasty on top too. She is throwing elbows. She is looking for stuff. And yes, she still needs to clean up some stuff because she will lose positions from time to time. But I mean, at least Reed is not somebody that's going to come in and, and sweep a girl of the of the you know the talent of Loma on the ground. So I, I am a hundred percent in agreement with you. I think that this is some of the best value on the card. Um, and the reason why I love Loma so much, and the reason why I love her so much in this fight, and even to get a finish in this fight, is because she has mentioned in the past confident issues mental health issues. She was never felt like she was like the person she should be inside the octagon. I'd like to read a tweet right now after her last fight because that was a big, big moment for her. And one of the reasons I think that this is going to be a showcase fight for her, she's going to come out confident and put this girl, Lise Reed, away, who once you get out of the first round, she just starts going, I mean, her, it's just down and down and down. And if you keep pressuring a girl like Elise Reed, she will quit and she can't get the finish, especially with Luma's ground and pound. But this is what she said. She said, today, I didn't just fight my against my opponent. I fought against darkness I've been carrying inside me for a long time. This victory means a lot to me, and it is significant for many reasons. She said that. I think she is free of this mental trap she's had and comes out and looks like an absolute superstar, and I can't wait to see it. I love Luma in this matchup. Yeah, we're pretty uh, – to be this confident on a women's MMA fight is is usually, you know, uh, usually like a champ fight. Yeah, in the, right. in the first two and a half undercard fight. Yeah, in the first two and a half minutes, you might see at least because she's a pretty good striker, but she's so cocky and power. confident. You might, yeah, you might see her land a shot or two, but once Loma starts landing those big, you know, those big leg, those big kicks and those big strikes, she will start backing up and she will start to fold. That's just what Elise Reed does. Yeah, I mean, it, it should be an interesting fight. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I, I don't have a money line bet on Loma, but I, I do either. trust. I do trust her. I do trust her. I have her in a parlay, and I got a better value uh, bet on her than just the money lender, I think, is, is fantastic. I uh, And I know what you got. And if you want to check out Jacob's Bets, we want picks.com at the top. Click become a member. Every week I do the betting video. I give most of my bets, pretty much all of my bets. Loma's got no ground game. Like, how can you say that? At least real win. Look, I mean, how can you? They're, You're talking. He's talking show, in the tell, comment section, not to me. Uh, yeah, it's a, Tell me you've never watched a Loma fight without telling me you've never watched a Loma fight when you said she's got no ground game. That's the most ridiculous I've ever seen. 
Uh, yeah, no, I mean, haven't you realized by now a lot of the comments? People just like to say absurd stuff. You know how many people are picking? People will pick the biggest underdog on a card. That's not what's happening here. But they'll pick the biggest undercard in the card in the comment section so that in a one in a million chance it happens, they're like, I told you I'm a genius. That's what 80% of those weird takes are. I'm going to give you a whole bunch of bets on Friday for free. You don't need to be a premium member for that. But I'm going to give you like seven units out of 20. You want to unlock the rest of them? We want picks.com at the top. Click become a member. It is only... $10 a month, and we're kicking off how many weeks? Do you know how many weeks? Is it 12 in a row? I thought it was 10. Oh, jeez. 